Man, oh man. Welcome back to the torture chamber. Everyone's favorite, Squire Tornado. <sighs> All right, I have very grand, very grand plans? I don't know, I can't talk. Grand plans. I thought a kill switch would be fun to install. I got a pair of new pickups to install. Got some potentiometers. More potentiometers. And more potentiometers. Uh, where is it? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where are you at, sucker? And I got a new uh, output jack. Might not be the right kind, but actually it really doesn't look like it will be the right kind. Got a new toggle switch, because I figured, you know, it's a Squire, and they're probably built as Squires are. So the thing I'm really nervous on is I got some coil tapping pickups. <clears throat> so that is a, that is what I am considering doing to a perfectly, perfectly functioning guitar. You know, taking it all apart and uh, Frankensteining it. Now the, the coil tap, coil splitting, however you want to call it, <clears throat> uh, and people who are much more skilled than I like that it's hard I every diagram I can find is slightly different so now do I just you know not do it and just replace the the pickups you know keep the guitar functioning or do I or do I go for the gold so I'm thinking of going for the gold because if worse comes to worse I can always put it back together right that's a thing you can do, right? So I bought this, all this stuff. So, so to go back to a different video, when I installed the uh, locking uh, tuners, I got fenders because I figured Squire, fender, makes sense. They absolutely did not fit in the slightest. So, uh... I kind of thought of that. Well, screw it. I'm just going to get things that, uh, like, uh, Phil McKnight was saying, uh, some of these brands are really good. That looks like it's spot on. Is it? Before I get too far, I suppose I should pop open the back. I think I got so many potentiometers because at first. I got a lot of parts of this before I started doing all the pedal work and started working with all the electronics. So I just got pots. Then I started reading about, uh, you know, that they come in different uh, basic sizes, you know, 250k, 500k. I didn't know what that meant, so I just got two of them. And so I think I got um, two and then found, that, found out about that and then got a few more. Come on. Probably not the most scientific way to get that off, but I did it. Now the whole mess of cables. So I'm going to be taking off the front two. Those are my That actually might not be too bad. Oh, I'm just nervous. Alright, so before we get too far... So 
So we'll have to just uh, unmount those. And um, will I just leave? Will I just leave um, these the same? I think I can uh, wire up the new uh, switch. Oh, come on, where'd I put you? So, green, white, red. Green, white, red. Green, white, red. Green, white, red. So far, I've taken off the Squire uh, toggle switch, rewired the uh, the new one. Now I'm gonna take off the uh, humbuckers, the pickups. Before I get too far, I need to uh, drill out a hole for the um, kill switch. Oh no! I guess I should see the length of the uh, cable. So it has to go. Oh no! Uh oh! Hmm. I don't like that. Okay, well that'll have, that'll have to be another time. Because I will have to, uh... Because it's not even a hollow, I'd have to drill into it. Okay, I didn't think that went through. Okay, well no kill switch today. Unless I think of a way around that. That's too bad. That's really too bad. Anyway, all right. Well, I don't need you. I probably should have. Uh, uh, I'm probably driving everyone crazy with all this stuff. Ground and white to one are the, are the two pickups.
This is really like the most insane thing I've ever done. This is a perfectly awesomely functioning guitar. I really like it. And I'm just gutting it. I hope uh, I don't mess everything up. You know, that's the hope. But if I do, like all the other pedals, there'll be a video of it. Another thing that worried me, like I was going to do another guitar first. One that I don't play, but if it, if it, if it worked, I'd be happy. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be sad. And uh, then me being me, I was like, nah, I'm just, just going to do this one. It's a, I have a telly. That, uh, well, that's a whole, when I start fixing that, I'll tell the story of the telly, but. Then again, I got a guitar for many reasons. One, so I could learn on it. Um, because if this was like a seven hundred dollar Fender or a, you know more, I'd be paralyzed. Well, I'd be hiring a build a bit. So these are, oh, these are five hundred K. Okay, cool. So I got a few of those. nest of wires all right I will probably be taking my camera off so I can look at it uh, here in a second but let's just at least mount these oh Jesus those are small holes all right we can do this we can do this we can do this And these are 502. Perfect. Oh, God. Crap, crap, crap. Looks like I might need you. The holes. Where'd you go at? And the um, new pickups aren't, uh, are too small for the um, screws. Okay, um, well, I might be stopping here for the night, because I need to figure some stuff out. Alright, let's end of day one. There are the uh, coil splits. This is new. I did install the jack. The uh, It's kind of long, but it holds... The old cable quite tight. Um, I need to get thinner screws to be able to fit the holes. I'll go to the uh, hardware store tomorrow. 
and I'm equally nervous and optimistic on this. The, the building pedals has taught me a lot on um, soldering and tinning and feel confident in my connections. And again, I l really like this guitar and I do want it to work. And uh, um, like I said, the price tag is kind of giving me the, uh, the option to um, learn on it without being terrified that I'm ruining something. So yeah, more tomorrow.